last night, I sent out the uh, on RFK Jr., his VP, Trump's VP speculation, and some of the drama on the right. The, can we just talk about the RFK thing for a minute? I probably made some people mad. I did get a little angry piece of uh, email. And uh, some of these people are, they, people get, I actually got two, for different reasons. So first off, this is what I, I had. So I was talking about the, the announcement that RFK Jr. had about uh, the, Nicole Shanahan, who is an entrepreneur. She's the ex-wife of uh, Sergey Brin. He's the guy who, who founded, co-founded Google, right? She's a major lefty. Oh, don't act like, well, she gave a speech where she said some things that weren't super leftist. That's great. You know, speeches are absolutely meaningless, meaningless, you know, today. They're, they're meaningless things. I don't know why his, I don't know why there were people who were shocked or disappointed about his pick because he is a Democrat. He's a Democrat who has said that global warming skeptics are traitors. And they should be punished under law. He got it right on COVID shots. Yay! That's like the most obvious damn thing you can get something right. Yes! He agrees with us on COVID, the COVID shots. I'm not calling them vaccines. That's like calling, you know, that Dylan Mulvaney a chick. I'm not calling something that isn't what it is, something that it's not. So he got it right on the COVID shots. My gosh, let's make him leader of the right. He got it right on one thing. Let's ignore all the stuff where he used to, people are, get mad at me. I don't care. I've got a million tiny violins. I'm just saying, this is my, I don't know why people were shocked over this. I had people sending me email. Can you believe this? He picked this chick. I am so disappointed. Why? He's a Democrat. Who picked a Democrat? <laughs> He's not running as a Democrat because they won't let him sit with them. That's Why? He's not be, he's he's refusing to do the things you're supposed to do in order to be popular on the left. And he got real mad over the COVID stuff. But he thinks global warming skeptics, and I have receipts to all of this, by the way. It, this is why you should sign up for the newsletter. Because I got receipts like dollar bills for days. It's all linked in the post. He thinks that global warming skeptics are traitors who should be punished under the law. And he also said that he would sign. He did an interview with Reason Magazine, and he said he'd sign anti-gun legislation. He said it with his own mouth, his own voice and lips. I didn't say this. I didn't you know, open his jaws and put the words in his mouth. He volunteered them. That's what he said. Make of it what you will. I don't care that people like him, though. This is the thing. Don't, mess, don't, don't mistake me. If you support him, you support him. I'm not mad at you for supporting somebody that you support. But what I will completely ridicule six ways to Sunday are people... Who And I, I say this as somebody who enthusiastically backed Ron DeSantis. Like, Ron DeSantis was a candidate that I've never been as excited for any candidate in my life as I was for Ron DeSantis. He's very Calvin Coolidge, and he doesn't go out there to win prom queen, so people... Anyway, the, but the primary's over. Trump is the nominee, right? So you can sit here and, and bitch and moan all you want to about the structure of American politics, but you have two choices. And you could say that you have a third one, but he's just going to be a spoiler, if that. He's not anywhere near parole levels of pulling the votes. Maybe yet. I don't know. Maybe he will. Right now, he's not even getting up to 13%, which is completely in line with what I said on Fox two weeks ago. So I don't care if people like him. But like I said, what I ridicule is when people go, well, I am so mad that it's not Ron DeSantis or Vivek Ramaswamy or Nikki Haley. I can't back Trump. I'm not going to vote for Trump. I'm not going to vote for him. I'm He's not conservative enough for me. I'm going to vote for RFK Jr. Okay. I can't tell you that's true how many times I've heard people say that Trump isn't conservative enough for them, so they're going to back RFK Jr. Now, I am not going to take any flack from anybody who's saying, well, you're ignoring all this stuff. Hi. I've been blacklisted because I haven't ignored anything. I am one of the very few people that calls, calls the balls and strikes, and I don't sit here and blow smoke up anybody's A-double snakes because I want access to K Street cocktail parties or galas or go trips to Mar-a-Lago or anything like that. I, I don't do that stuff because I don't care. But if you're going to sit here and act like conservatism is your principle, that's the hill you're going to, that your principle, that's the hill on the, your, that your vote's going to die on. You can't vote for Trump. So you're going to vote for RFK Jr. 
Trump is a moderate. I've said this before any of you thought it. Trump is a moderate. I've been saying this since 2014. He was on my show like years ago. I've known him for over a decade. Don't forget. He used to be on my radio show all the time. I introduced him his first appearance at CPAC at his request. So I know him. I know his people. He's a moderate, but he will make conservative moves on policy. Not all of it, but some. Like, I, you know, the gun stuff made me mad. The tax cuts not being permanent made me mad. The vaccine enraged me. Shutting down the country enraged me. But if you think that he is more left than RFK Jr., I'm assuming that Hunter Biden got you high. I have no idea why anyone would think. God love you. Why would anyone think that RFK Jr. is to the right of Trump? Well, he shut this. Oh, the vaccines. Let's go back to that. On one thing. One thing. So you believe that people who disagree with you about the weather should be jailed? And you went out and you called law-abiding gun owners like terrorists and stuff? I have the tweets, by the way. Again, I say nothing without receipts like dollar bills for days. I will not offer anything without receipts. This is stuff that he's tweeted and said in interviews. And then he kind of moderated his position on guns a little bit. And he's like, well, I would sign. And in in an interview with Reason, you know, the libertarians, they're not going to make things up. He told them, yeah, he would sign anti-gun legislation. Again, I don't care if you like RFK Jr. Don't blow smoke up my backside and tell me it's a vent. You know, I mean, just don't, don't sit here and lie to me about this stuff. I don't care if you like him. But don't sit here and act like you like him because he's more conservative than the Republican choice. He's not. Stop it. Just be like, just be honest and be like, I'm mad and I don't like Trump and I'm just not voting for him. Just be honest. Because the dishonesty about this support Is like when the greenies sit here and go, electric vehicles are great for the environment. That's why you should have it. No, they're not. They suck for the environment. They're worse than gas, than than combustion engines for the environment. So don't sit here and sell me on something that's not true. If you want to be mad at Trump and not just, and and I'm not sitting here telling you to vote for him. I'm not going to do that. That's not my job. He's got to earn it. But if you think that RFK Jr. is more conservative, oh my gosh. You need to back away from hanging out with Hunter Biden because that's not true. Another reason I bring this up is because his VP is a huge, his VP pick, RFK Jr., huge financial backer of restorative justice. Major donor to Soros-backed prosecutors like L- L.A.'s George Gascon. I will say RFK Jr. wanted to be on the show once, and I think I said something about his gun control stuff, and then that went away. We are trying to get him back. I, and I am a gracious hostess. Am I not, Kane? I am. Like, I may seem like I'll gut you, you know, a million different ways, but I'm not going to. I'm a very great... I don't treat people like that when they come on my airwaves. And this is my house, technically. You know, I'm, I'm not going to treat you poorly. And I also like to know how people think. It fascinates me. I'm not in this to, like, destroy people and get one up and clout chasing for clicks. Like, I'm interested in the psychology and the thought of it. And I, I want to know why people change positions or why they move here or why they do this. Now, I bring all of this up because, and as I wrote in my piece that I sent out last night, if somebody doesn't like Trump as a person, just say so. I mean, he's a moderate on, on a lot of stuff. Anybody who's paid attention since 2016 or before knows this. But predicating the rejection on the principle of conservatism and then pivoting to support somebody who's to the left of him on most issues except the quote-unquote vaccine is just hollow. It really is. I mean, I've explained this before. When the general election, and this is how I view it, when the general election arrives, I have zero emotions about it. All these, pl- all these people are nothing more than pieces on the game board to me. Maybe that sounds cold. I don't care. All these people are nothing more than pieces on the game board to me. How can I move them? How can you get moved here? Except, sadly, this isn't a game, and it's actually much more serious than that. But it's about advancing the issues I support to win. At that point, that's all I care about. If the parameters of the game have been set, then I want to figure out how to win. That is the only thing I care about. I am consistent in wanting to win. And if I have to choose the best option from a slate of people, I'm going to go with the best option. And it may not necessarily be your option. I don't get emotional and attached to people. I wanted DeSantis in the primary. We're in the general now. Like I said, these players are nothing but pieces on the game board to me.
People have got to stop being so damn emotional about this stuff. I mean, we sit here, we make fun of leftist snowflakes, but half of us are melting because we, we're snowflakes ourselves. Stop being emotional and stop being tribal and start focusing on winning. Everyone's like, but my feelings. No, no one cares. Winning is the only thing that matters. Why is winning the only thing that matters? I shouldn't have to explain it. Because you set the agenda. You control the calendar. You can decide whether or not this passes or you're going to veto it. Maybe, hopefully, that down ballot momentum, maybe there will be some down ballot momentum and we won't lose the House. And maybe we can boost up, our, you know, a little bit, a majority in the or, or our numbers in the Senate. But if you want to save the country, then you want to win. My concern about the RFK, and I'll talk more about this later, my concern about the RFK Jr. thing, and I think Democrats are, are actually protesting too much because RFK Jr. actually pulls a bit from Trump. I think that this, it, there is a chance that the entire race could be thrown to the left in, in terms of how it's framed. All of that comes down to who Trump picks as VP. 